I was skeptical about Season 2 of Attack on Titan. Sure, I really liked Season 1, in fact that's what got me into seasonal anime, but that was four years ago and my tastes have matured. Instead of liking shows where characters beat people up with magic and the power of friendship, I instead like shows where characters beat people up with their butts and the power of parody in other shows. Okay, maybe mature isn't quite the right word for my tastes. Anyway, since the first season of Titan, I've seen a lot of other shows, so I wondered if the things that really stood out to me from the first season would be more typical now. Plus, this season only had 12 episodes, so I was really disappointed that they weren't making the whole wait worthwhile. In fact, I ended up just not watching it for a while because I was mad at them for doing that when I watched the first episode of pretty much everything else. But as the show was nearly at its end a couple weeks ago, I figured that that would be a good time to watch it, and I did so over about three days. So was it able to live up to my love of the first season? Absolutely. In fact, I'd even claim that the second season surpassed the first by honing in on the strengths of the show while also being able to dodge some of the issues that the first season had. Unfortunately, to talk much about season two, I'll have to spoil a couple things from season one, though I'll try to keep this for a minimum, though I'd be really surprised if you'd spend four years and you yet to see the season one of Attack on Titan. Anyway, the appeal of this show really is not hard to understand. It does two things really well and everything else is built around this. These two things are its mystery elements and its powerful moments, so let's get into both of these. First, the mystery elements. From the very start of the anime, there were tons of questions such as who the Titans really are and where they came from, and it seemed like every time we got some type of answer, more questions just popped up, and this season was no different. From the very start of this anime, there are tons of questions such as what the Titans really are and where they came from, and it seemed like every time we got some type of answer, more questions popped up, and this season was certainly no different. They started off with a mystery about the wall and where it came from, and then they focused more on the truth of the Titans. I really like this part of the story and trying to figure out the truth by piecing together all the small bits of information that the different characters revealed. There's so many different questions here that the show can give us a small drip of information without giving anything away, and that's really the best way to do a mystery. Unfortunately, it did seem a bit slow at times with the characters just like going around in circles, even though like one knew something and they're kind of explaining it to another but it just kept going down loop and we really didn't learn anything and that made it for the season we really didn't get that many answers or at least not as many as i would have liked and now moving on to the powerful moments and yeah this is where titan shines unique name of source has talked about these in some of his videos calling them high impact moments and i think it really applies perfectly to titan it's hard to really put into words what a high impact moment is by view it like it's something that makes you stare at the screen with your jaw dropped or is filled with emotion or something like that and yeah it's basically you know it when you see it and with titan you will see it a lot the reason they work so well is they combine a scene done really well with having something completely unexpected happen. For example, early on in the show, the survey corps are fighting the titans with the battle going as you would expect. The survey corps are flying around with their 3D maneuver gear, they're using their swords, and the titans are basically trying to swap them out of the air. But then a twist comes when a titan ends up doing something we've never seen before, and that just throws not only the viewer, but the characters completely off, and well, yeah, that was just... Amazing, surprising, and yeah. Another example is Sasha's crowning moment of awesome in episode 2. The scene is great for a lot of different reasons. It highlighted her past and where she came from, showing her motivations what she fought for, while also showing her overcoming her fear and weaknesses while just being awesome in an unexpected way. At first I wanted to complain that this episode was just lots of dull flashbacks, but it ended up leading to a big moment of payoff, so I'd say that was worthwhile. And one of the things I liked about the season was how it gave a lot of the characters moments to shine. And just in just Sasha, we had also had a really good moment for Reiner, and then Armin had just an incredible moment doing something that only he could do. And yeah, that was brilliant on his part. The battles were also incredible here. One of the things that really lets the battles stand out is that each one was different. Based on what we saw at the end of season one, it seemed like a lot of the upcoming battles would just be like Aaron turns into a titan and then he fights other titans. But that's not the case here. Sure, you got the amazing battle with him and the armor titan, but you also have battles where the characters are just trying to survive and they really have no hope of winning, or the survey corps are trying to chase the titans and trying to obtain the target, or you have like three-way battles with like titans fighting other titans and the survey corps, and yeah, that was really interesting. I can't really talk about this too much without spoilers, but hopefully you get my point. Another thing that I liked about the battles is how they never diminished the character's power, both for the human and for the titans. The titans are incredibly powerful compared to the humans and while the survey corps do have a lot of training and are very skilled, one mistake and they're either severely injured if not dead. And the series makes sure that we are aware that the characters are endangered any moment when they're in a battle. There's also a lot of strategy with the battles here too which lets the show be more than just cool action even if the battles are so memorable because of the pure spectacle of it all. And then there's all the desperation and craziness of the final battle and yeah that just that nearly knocked me off my couch and i'm not talking figuratively yeah that was fun and you know what else is fun the characters well not really but i needed some type of segue so the characters here are pretty simple especially for the main characters the main three just have a personality trait or two and a motivation and that's it like aaron is hot-headed and wants to kill the titans mikasa wants to protect aaron and is calm and super strong and then armin wants to protect aaron but he is timid and smart and while this does not lead to complicated characters, with a story like this, it works because there's a bigger focus on the plot and the mysteries there, so having simple characters balances this out. And there is still some development for the main cast, just not all that much. 
The side characters I actually think are more interesting because they have more conflicted motivations that they have to work through to decide what they want to do. And this is something we saw through a lot of the flashbacks here and it's something I hope to explore more in Season 3. Animation wise there isn't all that much to really talk about except that it's great and you can see it on screen if you actually watch this instead of just like having it audio in the background. The one of the things I don't think is talked about much is the character's eye. They have like big bright and colorful eyes and I just think it's a neat aesthetic but it also allows them to show a lot of emotions like how their eye twinkles or their uh, twitches or whatever you want to call that. And I think it's just cool to see them show the emotions that way. And then the soundtrack well it's just awesome because it's Solana doing epic titan music and he's good at that. It is interesting though that the soundtrack doesn't stand out all that much as you watch it which is kind of impressive that the show is able to like overpower the music with everything going on and that's kind of hard to do with how epic all this music is so yeah i'm gonna go like listen to the soundtrack like 10 times after i finish recording this and then you have the opening which another one just incredible and does live up to the first two which are two of the best openings in all of anime Moving on to complaints, and well, I don't have any major ones, just a couple of minor things. For one, the pacing is an issue and they focus on the backstories which weren't always all that interesting, but the episodes normally were building up to some big climax so that made the backstories work for it. The pacing also seemed to be too slow when they were explaining things and they just seemed to go in circles with the mystery again. But again, not a huge thing. It also felt like they did rely on one type of plot twist a bit too much, but it was always done in a different way so I guess it's not all that bad, but still, they definitely used that several times. And luckily one complaint I do not have this time is that the series is not ending incomplete because season 3 has been announced for next year and well, that was good to see. It felt like this season was just one big arc and it seemed to be a good place to stop the story for now. And since we don't have another four year wait, I'm okay with this. So overall, Attack on Titan is still a fantastic anime. And while it might be a bit overhyped, it deserves the hype more than most shows like it. It's easily the best show I've seen this year so far. And I remember back to the start of spring when I thought that Boku no Hero would easily be the anime of the season year. But after Titan, that's going to be a harder decision than I thought. Granted, I've yet to see the Boku no Hero season two and I'm looking forward to it. So we'll see how they compare later on. So I give Attack on Titan Season 2 a final score of an 8.5 out of 10 and a rating of worth watching. For other recommendations, well, it's kind of hard because Titan is unique and the shows that are kind of like it just aren't all that good. Uh, one that I could recommend that's a bit different but has similar themes is Shinsuke Yori because it's one of my favorite anime ever and yeah, just go watch that if you haven't already. And another one with a similar feel would be ReZero which is also an insanely hyped show that mostly lives up to the hype, at least for me, and I just hope that we get a Season 2 of that one in less than 4 years. So with that, I conclude the review. Thank you for watching, tell me what your thoughts of Titan Season 2 are down below, and I will talk to you next time. And yeah, please no spoilers from the manga since I don't read manga that often, and I'd rather just experience it for myself when they animate it, so hopefully before too long. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I will see you all next time.